Hey guys, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at what it would take to create uh, cables that are a little more advanced than just simply uh, creating, you know, something simple like a circle. What if we had a shape, maybe like a spaceship or something specific where the cables had to really uh, hug the surface? And just to kind of uh, play around in the new tools here in Maya 2023. All right, so uh, to start, I'm going to create a new scene. And what I would like to do is, let's go ahead and just simply drag a uh, box onto our surface and maybe let's just uh, drop a cable right over it and see what that would look like and what does it take to do something like that. And just for fun, maybe let's do Control D and just make it even more complex, maybe our uh, cable is gonna be dragging from the floor over this cube, then dragging back down on the floor and then over this cube, just to make it a little more complex. All right, so next what I would like to do is I'm going to combine both of these shapes so I can use uh, them as a live surface. So I'm gonna combine them and I'm gonna clear the history because I could see in my outliner that um, it's a little bit messy already. Okay, so this is my uh, my cubes and next I'm going to go to curves and let's go ahead and grab something initially something like uh, the EP curve here and before I do that actually I'm going to select both of my cubes and make them live by clicking this uh, button make the selected object live okay now I'm gonna go to my EP curve and what I'd like to do is I'm just gonna simply click on these guys and create my cable. So I'm gonna uh, stop here because I, I want my cable to kind of just swing across. So I'm gonna press enter. So this is my first section. I'm going to click on the EP curve again. And what I'm gonna do now is drag the uh, second part, which is gonna be this section here. I'm gonna press enter. All right. Next, what I would like to do is we could use EP curve or let's just for fun even grab something else like the pencil curve and see if we have, uh, we can do even more control. So for, with the pencil, I want uh, my cable to drop down on the floor and maybe just do something funky like this. That didn't work again because my cubes are still uh, live. I'm gonna turn this off, grab my pencil and let's go ahead and try it again. Perfect. And let's come on this side and do something something like this. So something really interesting. All right, very cool. Now let's go ahead and uh, take all of these. So we currently have four different sections. Let's go ahead and make them into one so we can uh, turn this into a cable, right? So I'm gonna grab this guy, hold on the shift key, click on this guy and in my uh, curves, I'm going to use this button here called Attach Curves. As soon as I click on it, you can see that my curves were automatically automatically connected, creating yet another one. So while this is still selected, I'm going to hold on the Shift key and click on this one. And let's do that again. And you can see that creates a nice bridge for me, just like I wanted. Uh, hold on the Shift key and grab my next one, the final one, and do the same thing. And now you can see in the outline we have all these different curves, but I really just want this one. Uh, so I'm gonna grab all of these, hold on the shift key and just press delete. Very nice. Uh, now, if we wanted to, we could go to verts mode and maybe press W on our uh, keyboard and just kind of move these around so they're not uh, overlapping the corners, right? So maybe we have something like this. All right, I'm gonna go to object mode to exit the edit uh, birch mode. Now I'm gonna simply select my uh, cable and I'm going to go to poly modeling and I'm gonna click on this button here called sweep mesh. All right, as soon as you do, it creates this kind of a thick looking tube. Let's go ahead and turn the scale profile down a little bit. And you can see that the corners are kind of uh, very straight so let's go ahead and turn up the precision to maybe 90 if you wanted to you could always turn this button on you can keep uh, 
a view on your uh, topology and of course your resolution, right? Your poly uh, number. So I'm gonna click on that and now let's make something a little more advanced. I'm gonna click on distribution. And this looks really cool, but maybe we want it to be uh, less or more. Maybe in this case, I'm gonna go more, I'm gonna go to six. And uh, we can scale our instance so we can control the thickness of the cables. Maybe we want a little space between them, you know? Um, you can also scale the entire profile. So this is almost like a inflation kind of uh, thing. Now, if you are seeing your cables uh, going through the floor, we can always adjust them by adjusting the curve. So you can always, at any point, go back into your uh, verts mode. And in this case, I do want to turn off my mesh button and simply, uh, I, I'm only interested in editing the curve. So maybe I'm going to actually go in this mode for a second. And Let's go back out. So now we can control the how our cables are actually being connected, right? So you can adjust them as you please. So let's do something like this. I'm gonna grab this guy, move this, move them a little bit out. Now it would be also cool if we can twist them. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Let's go back into our uh, mesh and let's try twist. So I'm going to twist these guys. Now I can only go to two and then it stops, but my cable is really long. So two is uh, definitely not enough. I'm going to pump this up to maybe 10 by simply typing this number in. And now you can see I kind of get this nice uh, twist going right in. And again, at any point you can adjust the shape of it. And this is how fun and easy it is to create relatively complex uh, cable uh, system, right? So now you can even drop more cables over this and maybe do a different pattern. And if you have a, uh, a need for uh, cables, this is a great uh, tool in Maya that uh, you should take advantage of it. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, experimenting with me and I'll see you in the next video.